What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Two Straight Guys with Jeremy and Jonna. Hello. Here we are. Hello. Oh my god, my throat. <clears throat> I've got to turn my mic, and they can just hear me moving everything over here. Hey. Ooh, clear yeah. your throat right into the mic. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, I know somebody was into that listening. I, ew, was, uh, <laughs> Actually, wait. Speaking of listening, uh, I confirmed that my mom, in fact, does listen to the podcast. Oh my gosh, what did she <laughs> and think? She was just like, "I just love Jeremy. I think he's so funny and so cool." <laughs> Oh my so god. You, you have another fan. Hi really mom. Thanks for support. Uh, <laughs> she's like, it's been so much fun to listen to you too. <laughs> you know, like, it's kind of funny. I'm uh not to not to brag. <laughs> Moms like me. Hmm. I have a thing. Because you are one. A mom? Mother. What does that mean? <laughs> okay, girl. <laughs> god. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, no, I've always got along with moms. Well, one day you'll meet mine and that'll be funny. I would love to meet your mom. Does your mom cook and stuff? I mean, yes. Does she like to she... bake and stuff? Could we, could her and I have like we're, a baking day? We're more of a baking What is her, household. what's her favorite dish? Mom, if you're uh, listening to this, I'm, I'm, I'm planning our first meet. <laughs> um, I don't know. We do a she does this like good, like chicken and rice dish in the oven and we do enchiladas. We, we're like a big, like, soupy stew family. I love soup. Like, you don't understand. I know I've mentioned this before, whether it's on my stream or just out in public, period. I love soup. I could eat soup every day of my life. Yeah. Even in the hottest there summer, I just love soup. I love, 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 love soup. Um, um, Leslie B in the chat says, my mom loves Jeremy. It's true. I've, <laughs> met, I've, met, I've met Molly's mom as well, yes. That's so. cute. Um, wow. Everyone get your moms to comment your favorite thing about Jeremy. Should we have a mom <laughs> potluck? Uh, Everyone bring okay. your mom to potluck day. <laughs> we can, we'll all have to meet sense. somewhere in the middle. So Midwest. Molly, we're coming over. No. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> we all got to meet in the middle. Anyways, uh, happy uh, Halloween. Happy Halloween Eve. I Halloween. Halloween. Eve. Uh, Halloween. Y'all, we only have three more episodes for this season, and then we're done. And then there's a huge change happening. Um, wow. And, and then we'll be back on January 1st. But yeah, there's only three more episodes left. But this has been really fun. It's been flying by, too. Like, I can't believe we've been doing this for this long already. I right know. I know, 12 episodes. But when we come back, we're going to have a uh, guest and everything, so it's going to be really, really exciting. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, so did you – I know you went out to a party for last – wait, this weekend, past weekend? Yeah, on Saturday, my best friend, she recently moved into a new house, and honestly, she went all out. I was really impressed. Like – she's hardcore there were like witch hats and candles hanging from the ceiling there was a whole like black light room with like glowing tonic water and like uh -oh. she did the whole like drinks out of the blood bags and like what is going on so good job good job friend that's fun what did you dress as uh chris and i did a couple's costume and we went as avocado toast so I was the toast and he was the avocado. That's cute. <laughs> I haven't done a couple's costume. Uh, do you guys do custom custom? Do you guys do you guys do custom cus couple costumes? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we don't really dress up a lot. Like yeah. one year, it was the same idea where it's just like the big like foamy slip cover you just put over your clothes. Yeah. Um we we were bacon and eggs one year. So this is like our second now version of that. I know you were rushing to get an outfit. So is this is are these <laughs> options because you did you procrastinate and you don't plan a costume and it's just whatever they have left at the store. <laughs> it, it, it might be part of that. <laughs> no, literally the party was Saturday night and I worked all day on Saturday. And after I went off work, I went and got a costume. Gotcha. Um, I went to spirit actually, Halloween yesterday. That's where I got it. I think I have the avocado right here. You know what? So I, um, so if anybody knows, I took like a week off so I could like sew and make a stuff, bunch of stuff. And I'm actually very upset. So if you live in New York City, you know, it's like it, yesterday it was pouring. It's raining again today. That's the avocado. If, if uh, <laughs> people that are not uh, watching and listening, uh, Donna just whipped out her avocado. It's giant. It's massive. Yeah. Is that, so I'm gonna wear is that. that military? Is that like fatigue, like uh, uh, camouflage on the side? No, it's just like avocado oh, skin. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> it's the shell. The shell. 
Interesting. I still have my cup. Anyways. You know what? I have my cup of noodles that <gasps> I streamed way back when I first started streaming. Yeah, I still have my cup of noodles outfit somewhere. Oh my I god, for... slip that on. I forgot I had that. I do, yeah. Um, but oh I my did... god, and then I'll find my egg and we could be like the egg in the ramen. <laughs> Okay. Um, it, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, yeah. Um, so we, uh, so I went to Spirit yesterday because I took a week off to to sew and everything. So I have all these costumes lined up, but I was actually just talking to Donna about this. And I think we're only going to put out two tomorrow. There, there's a lot of things going through my head right now. <laughs> only two also. Like, hello, that's already double what other To be fair, y'all, I have seven. <laughs> I have wow. seven looks that I was like gonna all put out tomorrow. Unfortunately, I can't film a lot of them because it's raining here and we can't go outside. Then I um I ordered prosthetics. I didn't make uh, my prosthetics this time around. And uh, Michael's not at in town, y'all. So I actually had my friend Rachel come to take photos, but it was raining, so we just kind of hung out and watched we watched Saw, and then we started. Well, we watched the Britney documentary on Netflix. Um, but Michael took our mailbox key, so. <laughs> So I can't oh. get into the mailbox where my prosthetics are. So even if I wanted to shoot, let's say yesterday was beautiful, I couldn't even shoot because I can't even get my prosthetics that I need, which sucks. He comes home tomorrow and I'm like, I'm not going to stress it out and like do all these. But I was also telling Donna, I was like, you know, maybe it's a, maybe it's a sign. I take everything as a sign. So maybe it's a sign that like I don't, um, I shouldn't put it all out at once because I also don't want to getting lost on Halloween and then like people like, oh, cool, you put this out on Halloween and then I have no more content. So I was like, you mm. know, maybe it's a good thing. I can just stretch it out. So I do. Have, so for November, it's going to be a, a spoopy time, too. So there that's going to be really good. But um, it, it's been nice to just sew and just not be playing games. And <laughs> you've been very creative lately. Yes. Just yes. all the little I things like you're it. putting together i also think it's kind of funny if you like didn't put out anything or like didn't put out a lot on halloween and then you're just kind of like a nice try everybody but here's actually <laughs> here's actually how to pull off looks <laughs> I, I i i'm gonna be honest i have not seen any really great halloween costumes this year none that like i mean i've seen some cute things but i haven't seen anything that like i was like oh that's creative the only one that i saw i can't i don't even want to say yet because it's gonna give away what I'm doing. I saw one person do like full prosthetics and they're they're a really big name person, but it actually kind of, it's ironic because it actually, like I, we know each other very well. They also do makeup and it actually matches what I'm doing, but I did a different <gasps> character, which is really, really funny. Um, oh my God, a collab? Well, we didn't collab, but it, it's gonna look really, really great. But that was the only one that I really saw. I didn't really see, I've seen some really cool like Britney Spears book covers. Hmm. Um, so th that's been good. Which, by the way, I did read uh, Britney's book. Congratulations! Well, First I didn't read because I read in twenty years. Well, okay. <laughs> I don't read. I actually I did get the audio book, and I actually <laughs> it, it was counts. it was I only paid five bucks because it was free from Amazon because I have Amazon Fair. Prime, and so I got the Audible thing. Yeah. And then I deleted it or I canceled it right after. But I did listen to the whole book. It was like seven hours. In one sitting. In one sitting. I was sewing while I was doing it. And I told, I even, I was in Donna's stream and I was like, all right, y'all, I got to go. I need to <laughs> listen to this book. I did, yeah. ditched me for an audiobook, which is valid. I did. For Britney's, it was worth it. Oh yeah, my gosh. It no. was so, it's so sad. It's so sad. I and, really am curious. You know, it uh, just, it, uh, it explained a lot of why she was like what we saw like why she didn't dance and why she or her performances were lacking why she you know didn't make this appearance or do this or that it, like it explained a lot but at the end like the whole book essentially it's for her kids mm. like everything she did was for her kids and and yeah it, it's just really sad she just loved her boys so much that she did anything for them so um yeah but good for her she for like coming out and saying stuff do you feel like it was written in her voice? Like, does it actually feel like she? Oh yeah, genuinely wrote it. Yeah, like I know, um, all those celebrity books have like uh, like ghost writers, mm -hmm. like so, like essentially she'll tell them the stories, you know what I mean, and they'll put it in the words. And no, but yeah. it's, it sounds like it's just it's straight from her. Okay, so, which is good. She doesn't read it. Um, it was Michelle mm -hmm. Williams, which I didn't mind. Michelle Williams. The only thing I hated, and I complained to everybody about this, was the way that she says her w's it's what do you mean what? what and i was like 
it's like that episode in um and and Family Guy where Stewie Griffin and Brian are talking and they're like wait cool wait <laughs> yes I <laughs> hate it she says every time and I was like it would throw me off every oh my time God. hit um, me baby one more time <laughs> one more time um, I guess that's an O but it sounds like a W no she literally it, at every time at every W it caught me off guard but uh yeah 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 so she says but other than that it was it was great and Brittany does read the very 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 beginning but then she says like she doesn't want to read it because she doesn't want to like you know bring up more bad memories or you know like whatever and so um which i understood yeah. and uh yeah no it was really really good and well, like i i do, i didn't get the hard copy but now i want the hard copy because yeah you're gonna turn just... into one of those girls where you listen to the audiobook and then you buy the book as a trophy <laughs> maybe or just want to support her oh well i mean yeah that too but that that part also the trophy I have books that I don't, I have not yet. Let me tell you, our friend uh, Juicy, y'all, Ariel Twist, who is a writer, I have every single thing that she's been published in. I love that. Yeah, I, I, I don't read it. I did read some of her books, but her I'm going to be honest, her book's really sad. And so, no, literally, the first time the I read poem? her poetry book, yeah. I was super high, and I read the whole thing in one sitting. Like, I, I was like is happening here no it's super i was like oh maybe oh God, this I isn't the for me <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i bought it to support but she knows this so um <laughs> uh let's sleep in the chat asked what are you reading next and i don't plan on reading what are you reading oh okay um i oh, am currently want... reading <laughs> were we gonna read something is that what those quotations <laughs> uh, two straight guys book club here we go i didn't know you uh... have to have permission to do a book club I mean permission like if we were just like like live stream a book club like let's say me and you wanted to just talk and read on the book club, we have to have permission to read the book on stream i didn't know that oh well like we're not gonna like read it to the audience yeah i didn't know but i didn't know that so i guess like only in a library you can have a you could read out loud oh i don't know we'll do it in a private discord call. i didn't realize <laughs> that <laughs> i didn't know th that either but i guess that makes sense because you're like publicly giving away the book technically yeah i guess yeah but i did but i didn't know that so like i've always like joked about let's have a book club y'all goosebumps book club <laughs> <laughs> i would do that and i actually i want to watch the new goosebumps show i do too yeah maybe that's more our alley is watching goosebumps together <laughs> I did watch, like, like I said, Saul, and I forgot how gory. I love Saul. I love Saul, y'all, so much because it's it's one of the only like horror genre films that actually get me squirmy. And like, I hate oh, it. Like, and I can't look. Like, I oh my gosh! So we watched the the newest one with Rachel, and I, she, same thing. She was just like, it was so good. How many are there now? There's like twenty Saw movies now. It's a, a lot, and I'm not mad because I, I love them. Oh. No, the gory stuff, I literally, I will, like, throw up watching them. Oh, my God. I I'm... watched, speaking of gory, sorry. <laughs> I watched the the downfall of the House of Usher. I think that's what it's called. The f the down the downfall? Something like that. On Netflix. I thought it was. Okay. I think it is called the downfall. The, the rise fall? of the down of the falling no, Usher. No, the fall of the House of Usher. Whatever. <laughs> it's not about Usher, Usher Raymond, y'all, the music artist. <laughs> it's about the <laughs> Usher family. Um, He's like, yeah. But, but um, I I put it on as a background because I like to put background stuff on while I sew and do all this stuff. And um, I was sewing yesterday and I put it on. And I didn't. And there was this like club scene in there. And then I was just hooked. And I was telling Donna and Juicy. And apparently our friend Juicy has watched it three times and was like, get in the Discord right now and put it on. But I'm like watching on my TV. I'm like, girl, what? Like, no. So um, it's wild. That show is wild. It actually took a completely different twist that I didn't expect. And I I don't know if I like the, the ending as much as I, I love the beginning. Okay. Spoiler alert yeah well it, it, it's not a spoiler you still Wait, know what it's about are you saying that i shouldn't watch it because the ending wasn't good i personally didn't like the ending i i would have rather gone a different route but yeah. is it setting up for the next season though like it could what it's like... hard to say without saying what's happening in there I don't even know what it's about. Uh, okay, so there's like this, rich people. 
Uh, yes, but like so, so there's this uh, guy that works in like a pharmaceutical company and um he has like a bazillion children right and someone's leaking all this information about like and i say bazillion i mean like he has like seven or something um <laughs> too many still. and and they're like leaking information so at the beginning it starts off like um i will give you 50 million dollars whoever finds the mole who's le leaking our information to the to the feds is how it starts off mm -hmm. um and essentially they're threatening whoever is the mole like they're going to kill him in the family so they make them sign this contract and everything that they're going to have to find it. So I was thinking it was going to be like uh, the movie uh, Knives Out, where it's a kind of like a murder mystery. So I was okay. thinking it was like that. And then slowly, you know, people in the storyline are dying. And I was like, it, then I was hooked. But then the ending, I was like, what the hell is this? So I was like, where did this come from? I, I did not expect it to be this route. So. Huh. It, it all has, it has to do with a lot of drugs, like like prescription drugs, too, because they create this like this, you know, medicine, how how corrupt the, the pharmaceutical industry is. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, it did not go the way like like, oh, I, I don't want to say I, I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it on your face like you want to. I want to so say bad. it's <laughs> I, but like if I say anything like it's going to give it. it's going to give away the entire thing. And so like I can't. And you know, it's Don't funny. It's it. yesterday I was talking to um, Juicy about it and I was like, hey, is it let, just tell me this? Is it somebody that I don't expect? Because I was thinking it was some the mole was somebody else. And um, she was like, no. And I was like, oh, so it's someone that's obvious. And she was like, no. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> And so she's like, she's like, you're not going to get it. She's like, I'm telling you right now, you're not going to get it. And I watched all of it. And I did not, I did not expect that. Now I want to watch it because I love. But it made, it, it was, like it was that. still a good ending, but it made me mad. Cause I, it, it, fuck. I, it made me, um, shit. <laughs> it kind of pulled me out of the world that they set up originally. Okay. And then put me in a completely different world at the end. And I was like, oh whoa okay like why did we why <laughs> like yeah like what was all this for uh, he, well i know why it was for at the end but like i <laughs> i didn't i hated that it was like two different worlds if people in the okay. chat know if people have seen it without spoiling it y'all know what i'm talking about right like there's like kind of just two different i feel like there's a real world and then a fantasy that i didn't realize was gonna gonna happen okay like if knives out met hocus pocus <laughs> you see what i'm saying so it was like it was it was it, so it, was, like, it was all witchcraft it, it, it completely threw me and i was like wait a minute this is the route that we're going <laughs> and so huh. uh but i i really really I, I really really uh i really liked uh the beginning a lot okay i still recommend to watch it, it it was a good watch but it was gory. There was very gory parts in there. Oh, see, I just like, don't like that. But not even like gory. Like in Saw, like if they're chained up, you're like, oh, well, you're gonna have to lose your leg. Like, you know what's gonna happen. <laughs> this one, you did not see what was coming. And I was like, oh, shit, there ain't coming back from that. <laughs> oh, and like this is set in like a real, like real world, like yes. human world it flashes back and forth like it's telling the story like he is older and he's telling the story of of how he you know this pharmaceutical company came to be basically and how he's in charge of it and blah 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 and, and like um, what decade is it set in so it starts in the 80s okay okay yeah to like current okay hmm. so um juicy says my favorite thing about it was based off the edgar Allan poe poetry oh okay Lenore, the, the raven but you have to see it. I don't want to give away anything. We're not giving away anything. You got to see it. You got. I will watch. It's only eight well, episodes. It's on Netflix. We'll so yeah. And I would give you my password, but Michael has decided to give everybody in his family our Netflix password. <laughs> so I couldn't oh, even log no. in. Let me tell y'all. I couldn't get my prosthetics out the mailbox. Then I couldn't even log into my Netflix because Michael had too many things signed into the Netflix that I couldn't even log in. And then on top of that, because um it's on so i pay for the hulu and the amazon he pays for the netflix mm -hmm. because of that the netflix is under his name and like his phone and his email and everything but i don't have access to that and obviously he's not here he's in california so i it was like six in the morning and i was like what is this i can't even like log in to put stuff on and um 
yeah well i got it back now but <laughs> yeah i didn't i couldn't even watch netflix y'all oh so my god bad. so for you it was 6 a.m and for him traveling it was like 3 a.m yeah so he should have been up they're celebrating his grandma's like 90th birthday or something so and grandma is up at 3 a.m party yeah, she's wild they're puerto rican Fair. girl <laughs> they're always partying <laughs> so good point so um yeah but it's 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 been a lot i also started therapy oh my gosh uh, you did mention that and yeah. i'm so proud of you do you go to therapy not currently no but you have, you've gone to therapy yes well my personal therapy journey is interesting just because i was like forced into it as a kid <gasps> i was uh, too yeah so it kind of like put a bad taste in my mouth for a long time yes. and um i mean i'd be way more open to it now but uh, honestly a lot of it is just cost and that kind of thing um yeah. but yeah i don't know i think it can benefit a lot of people and it's also not for everybody did but. you know that did i share my therapy story like when i was a kid Mm -mm. um girl <laughs> this is why i didn't go to therapy for the longest conversion time. therapy so this is why i didn't go to therapy for the longest time so when my parents got a divorce i was very like i i, I was a mama's boy and i had to live with my dad Th this is another thing why i like the britney book just i just felt for her so much and like somebody commented like I, I i tweeted out that like i don't even care if she makes music again i don't care what she does i just i hope she's happy and i like thank you for all the entertainment over the years like i i was a super fan i had my walls were covered i literally had the ceiling covered i remember i had we had this like foam ceiling um like the old school house of like almost like in school that was in our house when i was a kid and i would take pictures in the entire ceiling was Britney Spears pictures from like magazines oh. and printouts and everything. Like I was a super fan. I, my fish tank literally was the scene of Oops, I Did It Again. So I had one little red fish and then the rest were backup dancers in white. Like I was a huge Britney fan. Like I'm, it's not a joke. Um, she's one of the wow. first concerts I went to. Yeah, I, I, I love Britney. And so, um, and even when she shaved her head, like I could, I could still understand like what she was going through. And I always looked at shaving your head, my head, my head shaved right now. I just always looked at shaved head as like a fresh start. Like you kind of just get rid of, you know, everything that's been with you and kind of getting rid of it and starting fresh. Mm -hmm. And so I never thought of anything other than like, obviously this girl needs help. Um, but I tweeted that I like, I don't care what she does anymore as long as she's happy and she's with her boys. And someone said, yeah, fuck those boys. Like they're trash and they don't blah, 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 blah. They don't like, uh, they take for granted their mother and everything. And I was like, first off, I'm not gonna knock on any children. Like I'm especially in a divorce in a messy situation. I was like, also I've been in the situation, not that me and Brittany are the same, but I've been in a situation that like when my parents got divorced, my dad was very manipul manipulative and he would sit there and tell stuff about to my sister and me who had no access to her mom that she was doing drugs or she was out partying or he was saw her, you know, sleeping around being promiscuous and blah, 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 like all this stuff. And because we didn't, we didn't see it. We and were young. Like we believed it and we were impressionable and gullible and, and, and all this stuff. And it took me a while to realize that like, she wasn't that way. So, <clears throat> so I could understand how the boys could sit there and think one thing, especially mm -hmm. when your mom is Britney Spears and you have the public saying one thing and they see all this. But yeah. um, so my dad, when we were together, was saying all this stuff about my mom and he t was like, hey, why don't we go to therapy, like family therapy, because divorce is hard. And I, I didn't want to go. And um, it, we, but we still went because I had to listen to my dad. But it was never my sister. It was just me and my dad, which I thought was weird. And I was like, huh, that's weird. But I've always been the one in the family that's been very loud and vocal and like, I, I stood my ground. I was the reason I, 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 I've left. I fought with my dad many times. Um, mm -hmm. But when I went to therapy, the therapist was constantly asking about li my lifestyle. And by that time, my dad knew that I liked boys and girls. Like, just, I was attracted to both. And uh, he did not like it. He pretended like he did. My dad had a gay friend, one gay friend which is kind of like not his, the gay friend literally he's one of those it's like well i have a fill in whatever yeah, minority I'm not <laughs> yeah that you want and put it that's um, my gay friend how homophobic i am so um uh so he took me that but it ended up being that she was constantly preaching to me about god and then talking to me about how homosexuality is a sin and so it, it in a sense it was almost like 
a convert not like the se severity of like going to a house and being like you know what i mean like a camp basically and secluded from all, all this stuff no we went to a therapist but it was always preaching to me about not being gay and then oh. I, and i finally like just put my foot down and i went off on the therapist i never went again like and i told the court that well we didn't have a court we had a a, a court represented a, a, a court picked like um we we had visitations that we could see my mom and there was like a court appointed person that had to watch over us and so i told them because that was my only contact to anybody within the law for the divorce but that was my first uh therapy experience so i didn't Wow. I didn't trust, I didn't trust people. And I was like, Duh, no, yeah. like, I, I was so, yeah. And I was, I think I was 15 when that happened. Yeah. Mm. So, but I started, I started a new one. Like we got insurance, but I've been wanting help for a long time. Like I know, I knew like in drag race, I knew I was depressed and I knew I have un untreated depression. I know, I know that. And, and, and me leaving Drag Race and that whole scene completely changed everything for me. Playing games, being around y'all, doing all this stuff, and just being a nerd has been, like, life-changing for me. Like, people don't understand. And so, um, so we talked a lot about that. And I told Michael, I was like, uh, I remember before I left Drag Race, before the pandemic, I told Michael, I was like, I'm not well. Like, I know I'm not well. And I remember I sat down in the, um, in the house and, like, I went up to him, like, crying. And I was like, I need help. Like, my mind is just not here. And so we tried to get me help for the longest time. And then we went to my doctor and I kept saying I need help. And uh, they they were like, yeah, yeah, we could, like, forward you to some places. They never forwarded it, like, ever, ever, ever. I kept going back and kept going back. I still got no response. So then I switched and... Um, because I left Drag Race, it was fine. And I didn't really focus on the, the depression anymore because I was happy. I was, like, good. I was, like, maybe that's just what I needed. But then, like, now I know that, like, my ADHD is, like, kicked in the full gear. And it's been it's been <laughs> so hard. And I know I have it. I, I know I do. I know it. And I need, I was, like, I need help focusing now. Like, I, I, I'm having so many issues. But it was funny because um, we went to another doctor and I asked for it. It's not funny. It's actually sad. I went to another doctor and I was like, Hey, I really need some help. And I need, s and she was like, well, we don't do that here, but I can, re you know, recommend people for you. And, um, months and months. And I know I've told you all this, but months and months went by and I know I've said this on my stream and I just haven't heard anything. And I was like, I'm trying to get medicine and like to be better. And, uh, it turns out she left, she left and oh. didn't know my doctor left and didn't tell anybody. So then I was just sitting here forever needing help. And I'm like, oh my okay. God. So, and the only reason we found out is because Michael got laid off recently. He has a new job, but he got laid off. And we were like, we got to use this insurance up. So I called the doctor and I was like, hey, I've been trying to do this for months now. What's happening? And they're like, oh, she doesn't work here anymore. And I was like, what the? <laughs> so, Good to know. <laughs> yeah. So then Michael got new insurance and like immediately with they, um, like all of my therapy is covered and everything, which is great. So I started and yeah, she was really, really nice it was it was good That's but it's good. all the all the questions oh my god it was rough y'all i was crying i was crying the whole day y'all i couldn't even do it i was like oh my god i felt so broken <laughs> but it was like it wasn't even like a cry like you know like sometimes i just like you just it wasn't like a watching movie cry it was like a deep down like my eyes have never been that red like crying <laughs> like i was yeah. like oh my god girl what did you unlock in me it was awful you were holding on to a lot of shit there it and was that's like so your way bad. of just releasing it and i was like i felt drained that i felt so drained but i know that was a good sign and, and mm -hmm. I, like i know that but I, like the day of therapy and even the day after like i needed like time to recoup i was like oh my god <laughs> yeah. like, but she's she's she was really really great she actually um i told her that i, I have a hard time reading books because i feel like it's adhd not because i can't read i can read it's because like when I, and i said this like i think on last stream uh, like when i look at books and i look at long paragraphs and stuff it's hard for me to focus on words and like retain the information like i only can pick out certain words and i don't even read in order like i'll read from like the bottom to the middle to maybe the top and back to the bottom like it's that's just how my brain operates and so that's why Britney's audiobook was great for me because I could <laughs> have to read shit. Um, so she didn't recommend any books for me to read. And I don't think she will because she listened. But um, she did want me to make a list, which I thought was really hard. And I still couldn't do it. And it's funny because I tell people this all the time. Like, and I know I've told you this. She wants me to make a list about uh, five things that you want and five things that you need. 
And I was like, that's funny because I, I tell my friends all the time, like when they're trying to get something, I'm like, do you need it or do you want it? <laughs> and which actually Both. you just did something recently. And I was like, do you need it or do you want it? And I, I feel like it was a something, maybe a game cosmetic or something. I don't remember, but it, it literally just happened. But I, I, I don't remember. it's really hard because I can't, it's really hard to think of. My, my mind automatically went to material, materialistic things, which I know. Mm -hmm. It's not the question. It's supposed to be deeper than that. Like happiness <laughs> and love, <laughs> um, confidence. Yeah, it's I, like all those. Yeah, ideas. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, but my mind automatically went to materialistic things. But um, <laughs> yeah, so I I started and it was good. It was rough, but it was good. So well, I'm glad you did. And I feel like too, not that it's gonna be some like linear growth in therapy. There's definitely peaks and valleys along with anything but i do kind of think the beginning is the most challenging part like yeah. it's like if you're excavating for a dinosaur bone and you're like just getting in the first layers of soil you know like yeah. you got a long ways to go but yeah no like we we went it literally she wanted to talk about like childhood we only have an hour y'all and I, she was like let's talk about this i was like girl we don't have time for that <laughs> and she 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 was really nice too because she uh, i also got to pick her which is cool and they give you a list of like what they specialize in which i i Ugh. liked we i did more of that i didn't want a guy i'm, I'm gonna be honest i didn't want a guy i this is gonna this is gonna sound bad, y'all. But this is what I'm, this is what I wanted. All right, I wanted I wanted a do uh, young and I wanted a woman. That's what I wanted, and I because I feel like, and I didn't want them to be a gay man. And the reason why is because I didn't want to be gossiped about. Like, I feel like Drag Race is mm. so big. It was really important for me not to have. I, 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 I have trust issues and I didn't want someone spreading that information because look, I have people yeah. that work in the medical field and I have people that work in, you know, just fields in general that require HIPAA and stuff that, and they don't, they don't tell me the names, but they definitely tell me, you Enough. know, things that like I can figure it out. And I, I, that was one of my main concerns. Like, and so, um, and I didn't want anybody older because I felt like someone older is not going to be able to. Relate, yeah, and I I had to find someone that was relatable. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, my God, that's like literally. So you went to therapy recently, and I went back to the doctors for the first time recently, and it was like a horrible experience because this doctor was completely not relatable, like not listening to me at all. Like she kept on pr trying to prescribe me a medication after I told her multiple times that I was not interested and she wound up doing it anyways. And I left like furious. I'm like, this is one mm. of the reasons why I haven't come here in a fucking decade is because like, I just want someone who's actually going to listen to the needs that I have instead of trying to push something on me or sell me on something. But I wish, like you said, how you kind of got to go through and pick her. Like, I wish there was an easier way to pick your doctor. Like, when yeah. I was calling for an appointment, like, trying to pick a doctor, I thought they were going to ask me questions of, like, what kind of needs do you have? Or, like, how do you see your health going? And blah, blah, blah. And they were just like, how about this lady? And I'm like, okay. Like, <laughs> can you tell me literally mm -hmm. anything about her? They just gave me a name. And I'm like, I guess. Like, I don't think I would have done so it weird. if I couldn't pick mine. I know. I need to like actually go through and find like someone better. I will. I refuse to go see her. It was yeah. horrible. My, it was my, awful. My list, the list of uh, people, and it was even longer. But it was like, so I had to do. A, I had to do a long. Actually, I think it was on the phone with you when I did my questionnaire, and I was like, I have to. I have to do this. I had to fill this out, and it was like. And I told you how like the words were in bold, and it was actually kind of so they gave you these questions, oh, y'all, yeah. and it'll be uh, like. Um, for instance like how often do you feel depressed you know and then like you picked like during the week or whatever but like depressed was in the big bold letters and so <laughs> like all i could see in that sentence like my brain is telling me i am depressed, depressed. <laughs> like, yeah. that's all i could see and then i was like i guess a lot wait am i a lot am i, am I? I don't know like it was it was really hard but i did a huge oh questionnaire gosh. before and then depending on like your questionnaire before um it kind of like pre assessed assessed you assessed pre-assessment of you <laughs> and um it, it picked out people that uh like match that and then you could still pick more like there was hundreds i could have picked but wow and then they tell you what they specialize in the bottom okay yeah i we Molly need something in the like chat that said, in the actual uh, medical field who isn't depressed and i was 
which is true but i think mine is pretty severe mm. <laughs> <laughs> i think there's definitely levels of depression um, i think there's a, there's a difference though between like experiencing feeling depressed and like actually having depression oh like, yeah no mine which i think dark. everyone has experienced being depressed but not actually a lot of people or i mean yes people do but there's there's a difference yeah no mine was mine was pretty bad mine, yeah <laughs> but, i don't no. know i this okay maybe this is gonna sound crazy and i mean this in like literally like no <laughs> scary way so please don't like come for me or anything but like you know you see all the time of like therapy kind of questions being like oh like how often do you think about death or dying and i'm like i actually think about it all the time but like not in like a final like fan final fantasy <laughs> <laughs> a final destination final destination i mean kind of sort of like that but like how do i say this it's like not in a suicidal way like there's something to be concerned about but i, I am just kind of like well if i died right now i guess I guess that's it. Like, it's not like scary to me, or it's like, I don't know. Not I'm not attached to, to like dying or not dying. But yeah, I do kind of visualize scenarios like, what if someone ran this red light right now and like, wow, that's kind of <laughs> murdered me. <laughs> I think about that shit all the time, like crazy scenarios about how I could just die instantly. I don't, I don't, uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't think that. But oh, okay. the only time okay. I ever think that is like when we're, I'm on a, I think everybody does this though, with because I think Final Destination really fucked everybody up. But yeah. like, if there's like a pole or something on an eighteen wheeler in front of you, oh, I don't yeah. go behind that car. Yeah, no, that's like the only time. Totally. But no, there's definitely a lot of scenarios for me where I'm yeah. like, wow, what if? I um. um so wait, did you get a new doctor? <laughs> Are you okay? No, not. <laughs> you don't know. You know what else is bullshit? What? The day. Oh, go ahead. Now it's Donna's <laughs> time to go off. <laughs> go. The motherfucking morning I am scheduled for my doctor's appointment, I wake up feeling fine. And I have felt fine since. I'm like, what kind of bullshit is that? Like, I had been feeling so shitty for weeks and everyone's hounding at me. Go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. And I finally fucking do. And now I feel fine. I'm like, this is bullshit. Oh, but good. I am supposed to get blood work this next week uh, to, like check anything so i'm just gonna still do that anyways but that's funny that you got blood work she's like they're not gonna make me get blood work and i was like girl yes they are <laughs> and she was like they're gonna make me get blood work and i was like no i, I meant, told you I meant they weren't gonna ask me to do it like that day like that appointment that's what i was saying mm -hmm. i figured they were gonna run tests on me <coughs> but well but yeah i wasn't gonna go that day well yeah i and I feel she also like... did tell me oh what? i was just no, gonna go. say that um like the only other blood work I've done, you've had to like fast and like not eat or like have anything in your system. So that's why I was thinking they're not going to have me do blood work because I need to fast. But apparently the blood work I'm getting, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, no, I walk in. Like, what if I just went in there super stoned and did blood work? <laughs> I mean, it's legal in California, so I don't feel like that would be a problem, right? I know, but they're like, what's all this DHC in your blood? <laughs> it's California. I don't think, uh, I don't think it'd be a problem. I um went to, uh, speaking of stoned, I went to the uh, bubble show, y'all. The gazillion yes! bubble show, which I have been dying to go to the gazillion bubble show, y'all, since oh I moved gosh. to New York. Like, this is not a joke. And everybody made fun of me. Literally everybody and their mother made fun of me. And I was like, y'all, I just think it's fun. I Like, I want to go just play in some freaking bubbles. Like, what's wrong with that? And uh, I think they were, I think they thought that there was going to be a lot of kids, which there was kids there. But there was actually a lot of, like, adults there, which I loved. I was, like, yes. so excited. But I was going to get stoned to just go play in the bubbles. I didn't go, I didn't get stoned. But, um, I... Uh. I no, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, the show was actually only an hour, but it was actually very nice and it was very sweet. I my friend Rachel went with me because she got it for my birthday, and she ended up crying during the show because it's some bubbles. And I was like, "Are you crying?" I was like, "You <laughs> you made fun of me," and and it was because so this guy um, that puts on the show, um, he is like telling his story of like how he got into this industry and not how he does bubbles and everything. And one of the things he, he brings like a little girl up on stage. And the reason why is because, and I think this girl was, I think she was three, like she was little. And he tells the story about his niece and how um, he does, he tours the country so much that he doesn't get to see his niece. And normally the only time they can see his niece is like during the, uh, like Christmas and 
and the snow always reminds uh, her of him. And so he was like, well, just so you know, like if you ever, um, if I'm never there and um, if you look outside and it's snowing, just you can always think of me. And so suddenly all the lights go off and, and it's him and this little girl on this bench. And then when it kicks on, it's all these like the whole entire building, y'all, is just covered with like bubbles are flying everywhere but they're filled with like this like um vapor so they're like foggy so it looks like snow mm. and it's it's so cute and the little girl is just like <laughs> it was so cute and she's like screaming and playing in the bubbles and then he picks her up and she's like grabbing all the bubbles and then i looked at rachel and she's ugly crying and she was like i didn't think the bubble show was gonna hit me this hard oh <laughs> but it was it was that really cute precious. and it was really it was really really fun but you oh would think God. like he was like um he was like their superstar like it was really funny seeing the. it was also very cute seeing the kids like get excited and they're like you're so amazing <laughs> and like screaming like he's a rock star up there and i was like this is funny oh, this yeah is cute. so oh wow yeah. but i did that finally after 12 years <laughs> so fun yeah. i feel like he should be our first guest on the podcast <laughs> i would love that he was also y'all very i was sending pictures of him he was very attractive well like don't make it weird He's not gonna know. We're like, is he's not? It's gonna what be a new he's season. Listening right now. He's not listening. <laughs> I just texted him. He's not. I'm gonna leave. Can you imagine. <laughs> I, just, I just texted him. I was sending pictures of him because you could take pictures. So I was sending pictures of him to the group chat, and I was it's like, true. look at this man blowing bubbles. He <laughs> was mean, very, 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 he was very. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> no i'm glad you had a good time and uh, you know i would go you should maybe there's maybe one around i will you. maybe there's one around you uh i don't know my phone i don't know my phone's at i'll but... have to i'll have to search well halloween is tomorrow do you have any plans for halloween tomorrow are you doing nothing did you grab no, a pumpkin gonna... or anything no i work tomorrow so it's just gonna be i'm gonna wear the avocado to work and then, oh, I think Chris and I are going to watch a Scream movie. We'll do that. So mm. I haven't seen. What's I've your favorite seen the first scary movie? Four. Do you have something white in your hair? Or is that just a hole that's showing the back of that? On the other side. On this side? Oh, it might be your earring. Oh, it's, it's your necklace. necklace. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have a hole me. in my hair. You have a hole in you your hair? That? It's like, that was the most microscopic little. I know, but I thought you had a fuzz in your hair and it was bothering me. Honestly, I do have a lot of fuzz everywhere because I got a new sweater and it's like literally fuzz everywhere. Oh my god! Go and we got a new dryer, so I finally have a working dryer in my house now. Nice. Yeah. We have a washing dryer too. <laughs> Our dryer has been broken, so I've been. What do you do? Oh, your mom's house, right? Thank <laughs> yes. Shout out to mom once again, coming in clutch. I actually don't know where there's a laundry mat around me. When I first moved to New York, we had to go to a laundry mat because our building didn't have it i actually don't know i don't know where there's a laundry mat i do love laundry mats though do you have one in your actual house yeah we have like in my actual house yeah okay like i didn't next, know if there was like to, a room I, in your building no i know i make fun of the people in the uk for having their uh <laughs> their laundry in their kitchen but our laundry area or room it's in a separate like area is right next to the kitchen but oh. it's not like next to the stove like how they do it over there yeah they're like I mean, making carbonara really and then like <laughs> washing their whites. I'm like, how is that? Like, how is that a thing? It's kind of clutch. All the kitchen towels immediately in the wash. Or you Table could just, cloths. Or you could just have like a, a, a whatchamacallit, like a bag of all your dirty dishcloths. A hamper? Or a bag that you could just throw your little dishcloths in. I think of a hamper <laughs> for clothes, no? A, a dish towel hamper? Who says? Who, Who says, says a hamper has Who to says? be? <laughs> I mean, there's like a towel hamper. Whatever, girl. Anyways, <laughs> I wouldn't do my whites while I'm getting ready to do uh, like Your pasta. my pasta. <laughs> oh, I would eat pasta right now. I have only. OK, so Michael made a joke because when he left, he's like, you're not going to eat anything. And I was like, what do you mean? And he was like, you're not going to eat. He was like, I'm the one that makes food for you and like gets you food. And it's kind of true, y'all, because I don't I I for the first well, the first day he was here, I didn't even eat. And but honestly, I was sewing and I didn't think of anything and everything on the news and Palestine. And it was just too much. Y'all like Palestine sign. Y'all has taken a toll on me. You can ask Donna. It's just been 
It is true. It is. I've mentally, I, I just feel helpless and powerless and I don't know what to do. And it's been, it's been a lot. And so I, um, and I've been venting to Donna. So thanks for listening, but I've been, it's <laughs> been, it's been uh, doing a lot. So like, I didn't think of it y'all because my mind has been elsewhere, but I wasn't starving. <laughs> and then the next day I was like, oh wait, I didn't eat yesterday. And so then I was like, all right, let me juicy. And everybody was yelling at me to order. So I ordered a bagel. I ordered two bagels. Thank you. So I had bagel for the next day. I was um, literally scolding you. <laughs> and then I was like, well, in my head, I was thinking Donna for my birthday gave me 16 packs of mini cereal. So then I was like, all right, I'll just eat the cereal, which I have. I had cereal for breakfast today, but I didn't have milk, which I was like, shit. So I had to go buy milk. Um, but yeah, all I've had is cereal. And then I bought is that Momofu Momofuku or something. They're like fancy ramen noodles. Oh, I don't know. So Michael has like the fancy ones that are like um, super spicy too. I can't do those. He has like, he had super, super like your assholes on fire sp spicy. And then he had like oh. a semi spicy. So then I tried the semi spicy, but those are still too, too spicy. So then I went to Target yesterday and then we got just regular soy, soy ones. But okay, um, okay. Uh, yeah. And so, uh, but that's all I've been eating is <laughs> ramen noodles. <laughs> And mini cereal. Well, it's like being in eighth grade, like just like <laughs> trying to fend for yourself. But when my, when Michael and I first met, it was um, he uh, made fun of me because I didn't have I had dishes, but we never used the dishes. I would oh, I had paper plates and we would just eat off the paper plates and I'd throw the paper plates away because mm. I'm like, why am I going to But I only had dish set for like two people. And I'm like, why am I going to keep constantly washing this? Just eat on the paper plate and throw it away. It's very like what it's very it's just like <laughs> two plates is not even that much to wash but it's like you have to constantly wash it so if we have breakfast lunch and dinner that's i have to wash those plates i have to wash six times <laughs> oh my god you can you can get yourself an extra plate anyways so i had paper how many plates. plates you got now <laughs> oh we have we have too many but i also have a dishwasher but i don't like do i don't have a i don't use a dishwasher michael does a dishwasher i'll put the dishes up <laughs> mm. But I won't do that. Do you put them away? What? The dishes? Yeah. I just said that. Yeah, I put them away. Oh, when you said put them up, I didn't know what you meant by that. <laughs> just up in the air. <laughs> Abracadabra. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> whoosh. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. Girl, what? Like you put them upright? I don't know. Anyways. I put them where they belong. I need okay. to empty it right now, and and so, but there, but the sink is piling up with bowls right now, so. There you go. Yeah, but Michael, but Michael, Michael will come. I also can't make coffee, so after this, I have to go to. I have to get a few things. I got to go get denture glue, but not because I have my teeth. Are, my well, they're half real, half fake, but I don't have dentures, y'all. It's because I need dentures for um one of my Halloween looks, and I don't know where the pebbles. Have you ever worn fake teeth? Not like the fake ones, like the vampires that you could like stick in your mouth i've i can say i've never worn fake teeth no so for the longest time i couldn't wear fake teeth because i had a snaggle tooth so when everybody oh. was like really cool and wearing these fake teeth when i was a kid i couldn't do it because it would it didn't fit on my teeth right yeah so a, a lot of things i couldn't enjoy like that like popcorn <laughs> popcorn would get into my snaggle tooth and then it would hurt like if i bit on it it would like go into my gum and then i'd oh bleed. like a shard of it yeah. yeah and so like there's a lot that i couldn't yeah so anyways now i can <laughs> yeah. you can talk about that in therapy oh god right no that didn't that didn't have an effect on me but um um anyways the uh so i have these fake teeth that i'm going to be wearing but i don't have the beads that hold hold it on like you have to get these beads like they're like little pvc beads almost and you heat them up and then it makes like a putty almost and then you could stick them to your teeth but they're they're not harmful they come right off okay but i, I I've never seen them. that so now i gotta go get denture glue so i can put them on but yeah. Wow. And then I need to go excited get excited to see. I'm actually really excited for people to see my looks. There's one that I couldn't finish, and it's actually really massive. And I've sent the picture to a few people. And it's a horror character. But um okay. I yeah, yeah, yeah. That one I can't. And I I've actually and it's a gender bent character, which I really like. That's um, probably like the one I'm most excited about, actually. Yeah. Well, oh, just wait till you see that. I'm. I know. I know. I already know. My my two looks I'm gonna put out tomorrow are gonna get people very hyped up. Okay. I already know. I already know. Make sure to follow those <laughs> socials, everybody, so you Ooh, can see it first. Auto focus.
perfect boom so that was like a john cena's like <laughs> are you a john <laughs> cena fan no i wouldn't say i'm a fan oh that's just like common knowledge these days though john cena does this yeah that's like his like weird little thing that he does he's like you can't see me or something was that for a movie maybe i think it's his wrestling thing oh i'm not a wrestler fan you were though uh yes i was yeah I was. so maybe that's why we're two different people two different straight wow. guys you know i will say john cena does this whole thing where he like follows a bunch of people on twitter and i'm like why can't you follow me i want oh you're one of those no wonder you're constantly tweeting trixie mattel what oh my what god do you do with john cena because you want celebrities to follow you i like you say i'm constantly tweeting to trixie and you it's stopped been like after i called times. you out three it's times like three times within like three hours <laughs> Oh, I mean, there was funny shit. I, I found say. this perfect <laughs> purse for you, girl. <laughs> what about this no, cash register? I don't know. It, it was like all this like random shit, y'all. That she it was, was like, me? no, no, no. It was me putting joints in a tiny Trixie Mattel <laughs> purse. So I was like, I wonder what Trixie would think about me having weed in this tiny little purse. Oh my God. I was like, girl, that's cute. just give me the, cause I could just text my friend Trixie. <laughs> And say hey yo see but you see how donna is donna's My like hey donna can you yeah. can you see what trixie thinks about this <laughs> first of all bitch i have never asked you to do that so we're clear yeah no anyways i wouldn't be opposed though you know oh my god well i'm not <laughs> actually i did talk speaking of drag race girls i did talk to jiggly for a while yeah what does she nice... have to say for herself Oh, she's a mess. <laughs> she's still a mess. Um, oh. Yeah, nothing's changed. She, would, she boom, boom, seems mess. fun. Should we put her on the podcast? Should we ever? Could a you guest? imagine? I could actually. Mommy, Mommy maybe. Wait, maybe I could bring her on here. Hmm. A spoiler alert. Okay. She has a dirty mouth, though, so I'd have to like coach her beforehand and be like, you cannot say this, this, and that. Yeah, here's the list of. <laughs> no, I know. Wait, acceptable mate, that would be and fine. She's not working. So, I, well, that sounded bad. She. <laughs> She ain't got no gigs. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think she's doing Philippines. But um, I feel like it would be honestly just me sitting here watching you two go at it with each other for an hour. No, and I would just be like, <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Have you met Jiggly? No. You never did. Like during the pandemic, when she would come over and be on on stream, you wouldn't be in any of that. I mean, I would watch. But I wouldn't. Oh my God, she's such a stan. Um. Anyways, <laughs> what are you talking about? Sorry, is that why you want Jiggly on? Is this your? Is this like the? Is this the? Is this the? the yeah, I want to get the actual famous drag queen is this on the, the podcast. Then we probably shouldn't get Jiggly on. <laughs> we gotta aim higher than that, girl. We're starting at the very bottom. <laughs> No. Jesus. No, we'll get Serena fun. Chacha on. God. Just three Filipinos in a podcast. Oh, I yeah, yeah. Angina's also <laughs> Filipino. Just get everyone. That's Filipino? Every Filipino we know. I actually don't know how many are on there now. I just get all of Drag Race Philippines on. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Mm -mm, they start suking Tagalog and I'm out of here. Oh, I, I, I don't know what I'm going to say. I can't yeah, no, no, no. Google Translate that shit. I can't even spell it. I don't know what they're saying. Maybe that's what I should do on my Duolingo next. You didn't even learn Spanish. You were learning Spanish on your Duolingo. And you'd... I quit my Duolingo after over 500 days yeah, straight. Okay. I'm Later. a quitter. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Anyways. <clears throat> oh, God. I'm dying. Clear it out. Yo, I got to go get my denture glue and some coffee creamer. So yep. we are done for today, y'all. But we will be back uh, next week. And again, we only have three more episodes. Three? Yeah. Wow. Three. And then a big change is happening. Get ready. And Jimmy Caliente is coming on. There we go. <laughs>
<laughs> just can't. signing her up for shit. <laughs> <laughs> She'll do it. She'll do it. Um, I'm sure she listens every week, obviously. Oh, no, biggest fan. Yeah, no. Yeah, 100%. she literally is constantly yeah, all she's about the literally straight guys. What's that? Oh, yeah, she just said, <laughs> you guys are so funny. I love your podcast so much. You guys are the best podcast I've ever, ever heard, and I can't wait to be a guest on here. I feel so honored and privileged to be sitting in the presence of you and Donna. Literally just texted that to me. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. We'll give her my number. We'll start a group chat. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, y'all have a wonderful day. We will be back um, next week on Monday, same time. Um, and uh, also, I put in, I don't know, did, did you add a Discord channel in yours? No. No, but I, I can. I do. If you guys are in my Discord, I do have a, a 2SG a Discord channel in there. So you guys can chat it up in there about stuff we talked about. Or if there's anything you want us to bring up on, on stream. But um, again, thank you guys. It's nice to talk to the chat now. Um, and uh, MJ nice said, another gorgeously straight episode. Period. Period. Um, look at, oh, speaking of my nails, I got my nails. I'm uh, speaking. Sorry, those that are watching, I did paint a nail. <laughs> a, single, a single nail. A single what nail. color even is that? It's like an iridescent blue. Pe I'm getting sidetracked. We gotta go, y'all. Oh. <laughs> we will talk to y'all later, and we will see you next week. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye bye. Okay.